Are they looking for you? Don't worry. They're gone now. You can come out. Thank goodness. I couldn't stand it in there, but it was hard to tell whether it was safe to leave. But why are you hiding? Mm, well, um... It's all right if you don't want to say. I won't cry. I'm Zayel. My name's Lisa, and thank you. You're an awfully nice person. Oh no. Huh. I really can't afford to be caught. Can you help? All right. Follow me. Ow, that hurt! Honestly, don't those people ever give up? It's complicated. Huh? You shouldn't pry. Oh yeah, the fireworks! Oh, I've loved them since I was a little girl. Pity there's no time to stop and watch. No, this is perfect. With all these people around, we might be able to lose them. Hurry up, Lisa! What a wonderful smell! It looks so tasty! <laughs> You're quite the charmer, little lady. You want one then? Oh, really? <gasps> Thank you so much! So, um, how do you eat this? Huh? Huh? What? <laughs> These look lovely. I'll take this one. Hey, let's see some cash. Hmm? Cash? Do you mean money? Excuse me? <sighs> oh dear. Here, will this do? I'm very sorry. It's just, I didn't realize that I needed money. Don't tell me you've never been to a market before. I haven't. That's why I really wanted to come. I don't want to poke my nose into your business, but I'm guessing you've run away from home, right? Hmm? Yes. Are you angry? No. I'm actually quite enjoying this. I've never met anyone like you before. You're making fun of me now, aren't you? Hmm. No. I honestly mean it. What's this now? Some kind of trouble? Let's go and see. Huh? Lisa! Wait up! Sounds like somebody's starting a fight over in Those good-for-nothing soldiers are causing trouble again. Honestly. All right then. Uh, it, it's, it's on the house. Take it. <laughs> we'll be back. And you better have some decent grub next time. Stupid guards. People are trying to make an honest living. They think they can take everything for free just because they have a little status. <laughs> Got a problem, girlie? Don't you people have any money? I was under the impression that guards received a proper wage. You should pay for what you eat. What was that? Let's hear you say that again. I see you're looking for a proper telling off. Now listen, if you're buying something, you have to pay for it with money. The seller needs that money to keep his wares fully stocked. Where would we be without rules like these? It would be chaos.
chaos. So, now that you understand, I suggest you pay up. That's right. You tell them, lass. You had better mind your manners. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> You want some as well? Believe me, I won't hold back. I saw the over here. Zale! I guess we shouldn't push our luck. Come on, Lisa, let's run for it! Hold it! We should focus on trying to get away from these soldiers. I'm sorry about back there. Watching those people act like that, I just couldn't restrain myself. Oh! Oh no, you don't! Hold it! We lost them. Phew. Thank goodness. This Lisa was a curious young woman indeed. With each passing moment, Zael felt ever more enchanted by her charming smile and innocent heart. I can't believe it. Is this really your first time out here in the city? Yes. That's why I'm having so much fun. Well, as long as you're happy. By the way, Zale, what do you do for a living? Me? Uh, uh, if I tell her I'm a mercenary, it'll just scare her off. Actually, don't tell me. I'll guess. Hmm, I know. You're a travelling merchant. You seem like someone who's been to all kinds of different places. And how many jobs allow you whole afternoons off? Well, well it's something like that. I win, but I'm kind of jealous. I'd love to be able to leave the island and visit far-off places. It's not as great as you'd think. I've seen plenty of things I'd rather forget. Really? Yeah. You don't know how lucky you are, living on this island. I see. I suppose you might be right. Sorry. I guess I ruined the mood. Let's not hang around out here much longer. We're staying at a tavern. Why don't you come there until this blows over? It's not too far from here. Who's we? Um, just a group of people I travel with. Really? I'd love to meet them. Lead the way.
What's this about then? Not bad. <laughs> Not bad at all. Is something wrong? It's okay. I get it. No need to explain. No one's judging you here. Zale, I have to say. Well done, mate. I guess this means he's taken after you now, Lowell. That's a pity. Yep, all my hard work's paid off. I'm so proud of the lad. It's not like that. Listen to me. Sounds like quite an adventure. Anyway, now that's settled, time for a nice bath. Care to join me, Lisa? You've been running around all day. You must be all hot and sweaty. Oh, well, yes. What? Seren? What? Is there a problem? Oh, you want to get in with us, don't you? No, I, I mean, I'm not saying it wouldn't be nice, but... What's oh, wait, the problem? Really get bad. in the bath with them. Mean, yes. I mean, no. Lisa, are you all right? Oh, yes. I've never been anywhere like this before. Everyone seems so full of life. Hey, lady. Bring us some more drink. Oh, my. Am I getting popular? Uh, I think they're a little... confused. Just watching his sleeping face like this, I always feel like I have to find some way to help him live a full and happy life. Maybe it's because he's so much younger than me, but I can't help doting on him. I can hear people laughing and splashing water around. The bath must be in this room. Who's there? Why, Sale! You little! Ah! Get out of here, you big perv! No, I... I didn't mean to... Ow! Do you need something? Um, no. Not really. Then leave me alone. I'm not in the mood for idle chit-chat. What's wrong? You both look miserable. There's this boy, Warren. The guy who owns the place took him in. He's a good kid. But he appears to have something of a rare illness. He needs a particular medicine. We've been searching tirelessly for it, but we've yet to find any. So that's why you were gone yesterday. Have you got any kind of lead? Sort of. We spoke to a trader who deals in it. But he said he got attacked by bandits and they took his whole supply. Where's the kid now? He's sleeping upstairs. What's wrong? You both look miserable. There's this boy, Warren.
Have you spoken to Marania and Lowell? It sounds like there might be a spot of trouble. You should go and see them. <laughs>